Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Jaspers, and welcome back to School of Cardistry. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning the move, the Tornado Cut. The Tornado Cut is a legendary classic move in which you spin a single packet of playing cards between your two hands. The move is designed by Ashford Nitel and was first featured on Hit the Road by Paul Wilson and Lee Asher. This move is a prerequisite to a lot of much more advanced two-handed cuts such as Pandora and Mockingbird. I'm very excited to be teaching you guys this milestone in cardistry history. So go grab your best deck of playing cards and let's get down to learning Tornado Cut. Tornado Cut To do Tornado Cut, first begin with the deck in your non-master hand. You want to hold the deck in dealer's grip. Thumb on the side, index finger at the top, and three fingers on the other long side. Notice how the bottom left hand corner of the cards presses against the fat part of the hand. This point of contact should be close to a straight line from your thumb. Here, straight line from the thumb. Next, using your pinky, Pick up about 4 to 5 cards from the top of the deck. If you have a packet that is too thick like this, it is going to make rotating the packet on the fat part of your palm very difficult. Conversely, if your packet is too thin like a single card, it's going to make rotating the card and controlling the pressure between your pinky and your thumb very very difficult. Now once you've picked up a packet of about four to five cards like so, you want to shift the pinky of your non-master hand from here to here. This allows you to grip this packet of playing cards and shift it as necessary. Rotate your non-master hand upwards like so. While you use your non-master hand to bring this packet to your master hand, use this corner of the cards to push against this packet like this. One more time. Use the corner to press against this packet. This allows this packet to rotate out of the way so that you can grab one packet and pull it into your master hand. Using your thumb and index finger of your master hand, pick up about half of that packet of playing cards. You are now in tornado cut position. Once you've reached tornado cut like so, use your ring finger to touch the short edge of the middle packet. Using your ring finger, you're going to pull the packet 180 degrees like so. Next, using your ring finger, approach the long edge of the cards and pull it about 180 degrees like so. If you find that you cannot pull the cards 180 degrees like so, you can use this part of the bottom packet to press against this corner of the cards. This allows the middle packet to rotate upwards towards your ring finger. Let's take a look at a situation you might need this technique. Ring finger pulls but unfortunately does not get the packet a full 180 degrees. You try to reach the other side, you can't grab it. So instead, using this packet at the bottom, you can press this up like so. With that said, you want to make sure that you don't move this packet and this hand too much. For example, let like it. That. that doesn't look good. So with all of that information in your head, begin by getting into tornado card grip. Next, using your ring finger, pull 180 degrees and then pull another 180 degrees. Repeat this pattern three more times. One, two, three. And to close, approach this packet onto the middle packet and then onto the bottom packet. One more time. Get to tornado cut position, ring finger pulls. Ring finger pulls, ring finger pulls, ring finger pulls. Bam, bam, bam. And close. Here's one more tip to make your tornado cuts look better. 
to ensure that your tornado cut looks smoother, you want to ensure that you're not pressing on the packet too much. Pressing on the packet too much will make the packet look weird and stiff and not nice at all. So you should be using a very light pressure on the middle packet instead of a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, light pressure. Doing so will allow you to use some momentum when you spin the middle packet. See? You just pull it with your ring finger and then it continues spinning for a little bit more. This allows you to not have to use the bottom packet to manipulate the middle packet. Faster, it should look like this. Also, if you're performing a tornado cut and find the hand positions very uncomfortable, it's worth your time to check where your hand positions are. It might be tempting to put one hand right above the other hand, but that's actually a very uncomfortable position to do the move. Instead, have it diagonal like this. Top packet is off to the top right hand corner, bottom packet is off to the bottom left hand corner, and this packet should feel a little bit closer to horizontal as opposed to vertical. Uncomfortable, comfortable. Boom, and that's it. That's all you needed to know to be able to learn to do the tornado cut. The tornado cut might be a little bit uncomfortable at the beginning. Most people find it difficult to pivot the packet between the two hands. Some people also have the problem of the packet slowly shifting in terms of where the packet is being pressed against. If you do the tornado cut and realize that your packet is slowly shifting axis from here to here or here outwards towards here, don't worry, the solution to that is actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is try rotating your master hand this direction and this direction, trying to find a better angle in which the packet does not slowly slip off your hand. Also, if you're finding it difficult to practice the move with one packet in your right hand and one packet in your left hand, what you can do is set aside the rest of the deck so that you only have about four or five cards pressed against your tornado card position and you practice it like this. Once you get used to the movement and the position and the feeling of having a packet in between these two points of contact, then add the rest of the cards back into the move and you should be able to do the move much easier. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed learning the tornado card in today's School of Cardistry tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below, did you manage to get the move down first try? I think it's very difficult for most people to get it down first try. But keep at it and you'll be able to do it too. While we're at it, shouts to the patrons of the New Deck Order, School of Cardistry and myself, Jasper's Deck. It is thanks to contributions from you guys that we're allowed to create all these high quality cardistry tutorials for everybody. If you're not a patron and want to help create more high quality cardistry tutorial content, head over to our Patreon and check it out. Our patrons have access to upcoming cardistry tutorials as well as playing cards. In addition to that, every month, patrons have access to at least one exclusive cardistry related tutorial. In last month's patron exclusive tutorial, we talked about a cardistry creating system that allows you to create infinite new cardistry moves. And in this month's exclusive tutorial, we are going to be learning the Rainbow Spring. So if any of that excites you, head over to Patreon. We also have monthly movie nights and game nights. And finally, if you want to support us but don't really want to make a new Patreon account, do check out the new School of Cardistry V6s on the newdeckorder.com. Alright guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.